Phoenix and the Carpet, episode 5 from season 1, 1976. Hello everybody, I'm Wolf and I react to classic kids TV, movies and queer media. Episode 5, the gift from, gifts from Persia. So this time we're going to Persia and is the more gifts for the another bazaar <laughs> like the last one? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out. Yeah, so we're past the halfway mark and then we've only got three more episodes after this one. Yep, so like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook and I have a Patreon now but I haven't got it open because I'm trying to work out how to share the videos in full length. Yep, yep, so let's get straight into it. <laughs> They're going on a train. You're not lost, are you? Oh no. We're at Waterloo Station. Yes, I know that. What I mean is you're on your There's own. There's some hat she's wearing. We've been spending Christmas with our parents, you see, in the new forest. No, There's Christmas time already. I hope Aunt Emma got Mother's letter all right. She must have done. I posted myself. What's wrong with that? No. <laughs> you posted That's the letter. Trustworthy. Put it in this pocket, I remember exactly. I went up to the post box and then I took out the letter and I. <sighs> That's a clever weekend, eh? You didn't even say thank you to him, cheek. No change. Doesn't look like it. Still no thanks, cheeky wee kids. Why won't they answer? The downstairs door is locked. Look, the letterbox. It's the Phoenix. Are you alone? Where he lies from Mrs. Wigson. Out <laughs> merrymaking. Merrymaking? Can you let us in? Merrymaking. <laughs> All he's got to do is to tell the carpet to come up here and bring us inside. Say thank you, Phoenix. Fire! Back to the fire. I like having supper this way. Hope Have they ever gave the Phoenix any food? Where have they gone? To a party given by the cook's stepmother's aunt in honour of her husband's cousin's mother-in-law's ninetieth <laughs> birthday. Well, I <laughs> say that again. Let's go somewhere on the carpet. Oh no. Why not instruct the carpet to go away by itself and bring back things to amuse you? Just write your wish on paper and pin it on the carpet. You mean the carpet can read? What, really? Duh. We wish you to go to your native land and bring back the most beautiful and delightful products you can. How could you read a note if the writing was on the other side? Oh, I see what you mean. That's a clever carpet. It's not as good as the one in Aladdin, exactly. though. I wonder what it will bring back from Persia. A cat! Squirrel, what did you ask the carpet to bring back? Beautiful and delightful products. You got there when you read it out. Squirrel. Goodness me. Cats! Don't you see? Kittens. Persian cats. How are they going to get them all back on the carpet? the door quickly. I zap it touched you. Down you brutes. Stay down there. Do you hear me? Oh that's I a lovely say, man. Cats go for birds don't they? Not for a phoenix. Turn your evil eyes from me you lop-eared creatures. And they don't want to be held. What do you mean valuable you're going to sell them? Got fleas? What have you put this time? Please leave the cats and fetch milk. Jemima, stop that noise at once. Now then, what's all this disturbance about? Disturbance, officer? You've got a cat shut up in there. A cat? 
I'd say there's more than one of them. How did you guess? But I dare say they're not real cats. Well, let me tell you. What was that? What was what, officer? That sounded like a bird. Don't tell me you got birds as well as cats. We like birds and cats. Oh, proper menagerie this is. Oh, they're off again. Come along now. Stand aside. Don't impede the law and the execution of its... Hey! As if somebody's going to shout murder. That looks like electric light, and did they have electric lighting in those days for streets? He will trouble us again. Phew, that was close. Cyril, did you hear what I heard? I, I hope not. Brought them a cow. We did Good one, some... carpet. Nope. A Jersey cow. And they ate all the cats. I think we should be more careful how we explain things to the carpet. Yes, we should remember that in the future. We can't send them back now. Can't? We've had our three wishes today. One to get into the house, one for the cats, and now this. Mm. Already up your end? Everything's fine up here. Nice moo cow, pretty moo cow. Didums like a milk em then? Didums what? Didums like the somewhere. milk em then. Cows Those cats can't stay here all night with the noise they're making. I suppose that's what you call cattle warning. Ha, 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 ha. Let's put them in baskets, two or three at a time. Take them as far away as we can and put them on other people's doorsteps. We haven't got enough baskets. Well, pillowcases no. then. What? Don't you there. dare put kittens in a pillowcase. You girls can stay here. Oh? It's all women are fit for, to keep safe and warm, while men do the work and run into dangers and things. Is that so? Here we are. No! In you go. Off. I'm not happy about the, doing that. Do you know how mad I am putting cats in pillowcases? Hi, child, why are you out after midnight? That'll be good. One of the worst robbers you've ever seen. Was she going to do a bit of Part five. The Phoenix and the Carpet episode five. Gifts from Persia. Firstly, no, I wasn't happy with this episode. It's a wee bit of animal cruelty. Putting cats in pillowcases. This is probably my least favourite episode for that reason. That little boy the oldest one? Is it Squirrel? Is he the oldest one? He's getting on my nerves with his attitude. So I don't know why I love this show as a kid. Maybe it was for the special effects in the Phoenix. Did you see the outro? And the flames burning? It looks like it's a turkey cooking. I think they should have changed that and checked that a wee bit. Thank you for watching. Sorry this one was a wee bit moany but I didn't like what they did to those animals. Like and subscribe, follow me on Facebook and we'll see you next episode. There's only three more left after this of season one. I know there's another one set in the 90s. I, look, I had a quick look and it's got different titles so maybe it's a continuation. So I don't know. Or maybe it's different kids but I might check that out after this one 
So we've got a big list of shows now. 